Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner and this is my YouTube channel which is a magic review channel which is called Real Magic Review and today I'm going to review a magic trick and that magic trick is called Nostalgia by Michelle Uot. Got to say some stuff before we do the review. That stuff is like and subscribe if you want to do that, share it if you want to do that and importantly after this take a look at onlinemagic.co. It's very special, very, very, very special, and you should look at it, and then you should join it, and then you'll be as happy as all the people that have joined it, whose lives have been enhanced immeasurably. <laughs> right, uh, Nostalgia Michelle Uot. This was sent to me by Murphy's Magic. Thank you very much, Murphy's Magic, for that. Uh, Michelle Uot uh, had a lovely trick, didn't he, called Socks, and we all like that, and he's had some others, which I don't know as much about, because, um, you know, on the money with the research, but this, uh, he's, he's a great thinker, he, he, his tricks are quirky, and we all like that, don't we, they're different, and, uh, and this is no exception. I loved Socks, Socks to me was so magical, and, you know, really strong effect, really good kicker, funny, different, great, um, and I opened this expecting the same thing, but did I get it? Well, sort of. This is uh, one of these lovely things that I had as a child um, that you look through, you put a little disc in there, they're there, uh, you look through it and you see all the pictures in 3D and they're lovely. Really nostalgic piece, which is why the trick's probably called Nostalgia, I would have thought. Um, you know, it's not, not a far cry from working that out in that sentence. It makes literally no sense. Um, so... This really piqued my interest uh, because of that and because it looks very, very different. The trick is this. You, I haven't got any performance footage of this and I'm not going to have any performance footage of this because for me this is a stage trick and I'm not on stage soon. And it, Well, I'll, we'll get there in a minute. The trick is you have the discs that you explain what it is because some people aren't going to know. As he says, everybody's going to know what it is. Well, it depends on your age group, doesn't it? Um, I think kids, you know, my kids had something similar actually when they were tiny because of the good light, but, but some people won't be as familiar. But you get a load of the discs to put in it and you give the disc to someone and they look through and they put it in and they can check it all out, look at the different pictures and you just give the disc to someone else and they look through it. Uh, and then they choose one of the discs, put it in, in his presentation, would then put it behind their back and go through, which this turns it and gives you the different pictures, stop on any one, and then you would draw and have a prediction uh, of that. I don't know what I was looking up there then. We've got to look at the camera, it would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, on that disc, and, and you would, you would um, do a drawing in whatever way. You, could, you don't have to do a drawing, you could do a different um, prediction, but a drawing is really nice for this. And that's the main trick. There is one other disc in here, which is lovely, actually, has two. There's one that's very, uh, a very good little bit of marketing, which comes in it, which is all different Murphy's Magic products, which I thought was a really cool thing, actually. Really nice way of doing it. But the other one is the princess card trick, or the one that everybody does online when they say, um, you know, have a look at these five cards. One of them's gonna vanish, and the card that you're thinking of has vanished. And that's quite cool. You can go through this, and they can go through that process themselves. He says, you wouldn't do that on stage. I kind of think it would be nice to do on stage. I think to, to go through that process with the audience not knowing what's going on, and just going, right, go through, don't say a word, just go through what's, you know, you're gonna have a magical experience, and then they respond to that, and the audience never know what that is. I think that's quite a nice way of doing a nice thing to do with this, and I, I quite happily do that, and I, I might well do that, because I think it's great. A little secret uh, trick for someone on stage. But the main trick is the one I've mentioned. You get two ways of doing this. You can do the trick as a kind of, as almost like a card trick. It feels nothing like a card trick, but the mechanics are like a card trick with, with these, and that's how the trick is done. Or you can use this. Uh, which is great. It's a really well-made bag and it's quite theatrical. It's quite good for stage. You know, you put all the discs in there and they choose one of those discs to go in there. So there's a there's a apparently free choice of what discs after inspecting them. There are a few kind of, I wouldn't say sleight of hand, I wouldn't push it, but it, on one of those methods, there is more of that. On the other one, there isn't, but you're still going to have to be able to handle these discs uh, if you want to really give the feel that they've all been looked at and put in the, put in the thing. The pluses of this is that it's really lovely. It's a lovely, there's so much presentational 
potential with this. For me, a, a nostalgic routine, you know, imagine you're a child, you, you know, you get your first toy, get someone of that age that would, would have had one of those as a child, really try and link them back to that feeling of magic they get just at looking at a picture. I also think there's quite a lot in the fact that when this came out in, I think, 1939, which is what he says in the download, it was an educational tool for adults, which I think is hilarious. The fact that an educational tool would have like eight pictures or whatever, it's not eight, it's more than that, but 10, 12 pictures, as an educational tool rather than, I don't know, a book. Uh, it's, quite, it's quite cool. And the fact that we now have Wikipedia, it, it just shows how much we've achieved as human beings or, or not achieved, depending on where you stand on that in the last uh, however many years. So there's loads in that. I think there's so much potential here to have a really theatrical piece, uh, a really lovely piece to watch for the spectator and the audience. Great. Magically, Again, comparing it to something like Socks, it isn't quite there for me. I don't think that's a problem, depending on where you put it in your show. This isn't going to be, you know, when we compare it to some predictions where it feels like someone's just thinking of something, there's hardly any props involved, maybe a bit of paper. That feels more magical to me and more mind-blowing. But then again, I have seen completely uh, mind-blowing mentalism. I have no idea how it's done that has bored me senseless. So we know that that's not what it's about. But that that is the kind of concession. That's the That's the kind of... One thing you've got to give up is if people really think about it, they're probably, they might have a, a bit of an idea whether, we're, as with some predictions, people have just got nowhere to go because it does use this stuff. So we've got to use this stuff. We've got to use it, uh, focus on it, make it part of the presentation and, and make it kind of l less important um, that the method rather than the experience, get people hooked into that experience. And, and I think it's a really lovely thing. So it's easy. It's theatrical, it's great for parlour, it's, you know, it's 10 minutes potentially of material, depending on where you go with it, uh, and I think for certain shows it would really fit in. For mine at the moment, I wouldn't just take it out and do it, I would need that presentation and I would need to weave it in with a narrative and something like that, and that's why I, I won't be using it in a show because it doesn't really fit my show, but I think for a lot of you... Just, just be great, and and you know, kids. Even though they won't get the nostalgia bit, they'll have the fun bit of looking through it and and describing the picture. So for kids shows, I think it's 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 got a lot of potential as well. If you can kind of get kids that age, they'll be able to follow the instructions. Oh, a couple of other things I forgot to mention that I'll cut in. First is uh, he demonstrates this by putting the the unit behind his back for them to um, press the button and stop wherever they want. It's fine. I don't think it's needed. I think you could just do it and do it in front of you. And the, the risk is obviously that they look in and see. But you, you, with audience management, I would rather just do it um, openly uh, like that. And the download, it, surprisingly for Murphy, is, is actually a bit short. Um, <laughs> you know, glad that it wasn't three hours long, but it did feel a little bit rushed. Now, learning the trick, it doesn't need any more. You don't need anything else. But it would have sometimes been nice to have a few. There, now, there are subtleties in it. Don't you? don't get me wrong he does go into the best ways of performing it uh, but it felt a little bit rushed but again for me I'd w much rather that than the other way you're going to get everything you need and you're going to be able to take this out and do it uh, but great yeah lovely little thing um, thanks for sending me Murphy's uh, I would have missed out loads of stuff so do um, ask any questions below and I will answer those questions in the live shows on Thursdays at five o'clock UK time do come back they now and then they don't happen so make sure if you do subscribe, or when you do subscribe, or if you're subscribed, hit that notification icon so you'll be able to see the messages I put out if I can't make one. Uh, thank you very much. Also, now, right now, go and check out onlinemagic.co. Did I call him Michael? It's Michelle. I hope I got that right. Anyway, bye.